right so what not guys everything everything you want to track you can track everything guys let's let's go for one record simple record roll number is one name is something like suresh class is uh, ninth class age is uh, how much guys for ninth class 11 years 11 years they will be something around okay 19 uh, 2000 uh, 2011 years means 2011 right 2011 uh, gender male uh, key percentage 80 percentage place okay hyderabad and subjects math physics okay science social okay father name ramesh okay phone number phone number will be okay this 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 10 digit number okay so mail id will be okay this 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 at the rate gmail.com okay so now guys if you see here okay so the vertical entity you can see right roll number name class is this vertical entity is called a column or field okay column or field vertical entity is called column or field guys okay so you can see one record here the horizontal entity the whole record this is called what is this guys rows rows horizontal entity is called row or record okay so vertical entity is called guys what is that field field column or field we usually we'll call it as a columns 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 okay field. roll number is one column name is one column class is one column column or field both are same guys okay so the vertical entity is called fields or columns the horizontal entity is called rows and rows or records, rows or records. okay rows or records guys rows are records correct rows are records the horizontal entity is called rows so where you will get the complete information in the column you will get the completion complete information or in the record you will get the complete information about an entry column column sir row, record 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 right column what you will get simply roll number you will get or name you will get only you will get information about a particular value record. whereas in the record yes. you will get all the whole data you will get the information about the whole record okay so record means a horizontal entity where you will get complete information column means a, a, a vertical entity where you will get a specific information guys okay good, <coughs> Are we good guys now we'll create a sales table sales means uh, in the sales uh, okay chalo, let's create a sales table tell me guys tell me some columns in the sales table any column product very good product let's go with the sales ID. ID. Whenever, whenever you go to reliance or uh, more you will get one id if you if you observe it or not okay that is sales id serial uh, number uh, serial number no problem okay in our language it will be serial number very good or bill number let's go like this bill number okay done product gst number very product. good gst number super uh, next price. Price. quantity price. Price. quantity price very good super right okay chalo we'll let's create a table with these columns guys okay we'll 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 keep in uh, in a uh, what we can say uh, in order okay gst number and all we'll keep it at the end of the uh, table i mean like last column we'll keep it as a gst number so remaining columns will create guys like this chalo let's we will create a database uh, table right so we have a database now in the sales database i'll create a table so let's go to the sales database and of course if you want to write queries on sales database how to open the query window from the database guys one way is right click on the database new query window okay, another way is use database name third way is open query window from any database simply select okay open query window from any database where is that uh, right click on the server also you will get it okay simply drop down from the drop down you can choose sales database okay that is the third way right i want to create what guys table table okay so create what is the keyword for creating guys 
For example, if I asked you, hey, go to the shop. I need bananas. What would be your next question, guys? Which price? Next, next. How many? How many? Very good, how excellent. Much? How many? So either you can ask how many bananas, sir, you want, or what is the quantity? You want a kg, half kg, two kgs banana, or function forty kgs banana. How much quantity you need? That is called your data type. Okay. What type of data you are going to insert in this column? What type of data you are going to insert? What type of data? So bill number. What type would be, guys? It will be in which number? Of course, bill number always will be in numbering format, right? Or else sometimes it will be alpha numeric number. Okay. Yes, yes. So. so you have to mention for each column you have to mention data type means which what type of data it has to accept what type of data the bill number column has to accept for each column you have to mention data type give the space and mention the type of data you want to insert into the particular column means if you insert integer means int integer is one data type guys where integer will allow only numbers only numbers only numbers you can give 1 2 3 4 5 like that unlimited numbers you can give infinity numbers you can give okay i want to give characters sir product name is banana okay now what is that banana means what is that guys it's a product name so what what type of data it has to accept character type of data so character you can data. give the data type as char or char okay yes sir Care, care, okay. Care, care. Okay, so this kind of and where care, very good. And where care. So all these things you can use to represent character type of data. Care, especially for character type of data. Where care and where care for alpha numeric type of data, guys. Address. You are mentioning address. Address contains numbers, street number, door number, floor number, flat number, road number. Okay, so. your address contains both numbers and names then you have to give what kind of data type guys where yeah. yeah, care care only not so why because if you give care it will accept only characters you cannot enter the door numbers and all okay so guys is it clear so like that we have different different data types guys integer character where, uh, where care and where care and where care max binary type of data you want to take the of course in the product if you go to the product cost sometimes product cost would be 175.55 rupees decimal binaries okay so we have different different character char, uh, data types decimal data type okay please please mute it please mute it if you don't have questions decimal okay or what just we discussed guys binaries okay binary and time you want to include time at what time you purchased the item you want to include the time okay time date of birth for the student you want to include the date or date of birth okay for that date data type you want to mention the cost of the product okay money data type is there for that or decimal also you can use it Okay, so integer, character, where care, and where care max, and where where binary max, text, and text. You want to write reviews about the student. Your student is not coming to the school daily. He is going to the movie or park with her, with his girlfriend. So he is not completing the assignments and all. Okay, so like you want to just give you reviews about the student. That is a big text. Okay, you can mention. Uh, 
it has to that column has to accept the text type of data so remember guys whenever you are mentioning about any column give a space and mention what type of data it has to accept okay now tell me guys after bill number next next column keep a comma for every column give a comma guys next product name okay product name tell me guys what type of data the name contains what type of data where care where care, where care. okay product name where care in the brackets whenever you give where care in the brackets you have to give how many characters you want to use if you don't give okay it will be fixed size if you give how much you want it will take that much only guys Mumbai. for example for example you give okay where care of 10 okay where care of 10 guys but you are inserting suresh name what is how many characters suresh will take guys six characters six. right six. in 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 out of 10 you are using six so remaining four you are saving okay so it will it will it will help you to save the storage guys okay so you have to mention how many characters you want you cannot en enter more than the product name cannot be more than 100 characters guys if you are giving sometimes we'll have very lengthy names very big 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 names will be there which will cross more than 100 characters okay so in that case you have to increase the co column size and all i mean like the data type size you have to increase like next cost of the product what is the data type what is the most suitable data type from this data type guys money. most suitable money money is the most money. suitable right just type money that's it that's it this is fine for me i'll create can i create a table with a single column yes yes it is possible that's your wish whether you want a single column or multiple columns that's your wish i have a quick question for all of you guys what about ass assignments about yesterday's assignment guys i asked you to find different names to connect to the default instance anyone anyone search yes, yeah what are the other ways to connect to the default instance can you paste uh, it in the chart dot. what is that dot sir dot of course the... I, we discussed it right other than four ways other than those four ways i asked with you to IP search address. with ip address next <laughs> With IP address, what is my IP address? 192.168.1.5. Okay, so let me connect. With IP address is fine. Any correction is there for IP address. How many of you completed the assignments? Please raise your hands. no one completed right that's fine very good excellent jayesh completed super now tell me what are the other ways to connect to the default instance so tcp also tcp next then uh, uh, ip address uh, uh, comma port number very good ip address comma port number next uh, tcp uh, computer uh, name. local host uh, that's okay uh, colon local host that's okay colon local host of course okay that is colon uh, dot tcp colon can you uh, paste local... it in the chart can you paste it in the chart yes okay. sir yeah out of 20 people one person completed the assignment guys tell me do we need to give assignments and all is is there any value for that That's why I stopped asking questions also. I'm not like um, getting the proper answers or responses. Only one, two people are responding or sometimes no one is responding. Yes, Jayesh, that's it only. TCP colon dot. Okay, okay.
so about the db creation sudhir responded uh, yes we can change the database name after creation yes correct okay uh, we can change the database name after creation of database also guys tcp colon local okay and port number okay tcp column local host also that we are not uh, just connected with tcp column local host mm -hmm. okay No, so TCP local let net, me check net, it. in network uh, net also uh, uh, np uh, colon local and uh, something but okay network not tried. practically not tried. okay tcp colon is this correct or do we need to change anything okay done okay so that's fine guys okay database name we can change it uh, chalo what we are discussing now ah i i want to give an assignment so yesterday's assignment i just remembered what assignment i want to give ah how many maximum columns we can create in a table that is the assignment for tomorrow how many maximum columns how many maximum rows we can create in a table okay how many maximum columns per table how many maximum rows per table okay guys right let me execute now so i lot of things are there if i execute what will happen guys i'll get the error simply if i execute i'll get the error guys and one more thing uh, you might ask sir if we get the error what about this statement see if i simply execute it it will try to execute all the statements okay so if the statement is correct it will execute the statement is wrong if it is going to skip it and it will throw the error so no issues if the same statement is there in between of these lines even though you are getting the error the correct statement will be executed guys got the point so don't think if you get the error all the queries that are there in the query window won't be executed no in all these statements if any of the statement is correct that will be executed if any of the statement is wrong that will throw the error okay so let me highlight this line i am going to execute only this line i don't want all these things and guys you can do one more thing you can comment it out guys select all these things uh, there is a uh, where we can see there is a option called comment guys there is that comment yes okay just press this one comment so guys if you keep double iphone 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 before the word it won't be executed it will be skipped guys that is called comment got the point if you see any blue text the simple shortcut is if you see what is this blue not blue i'm sorry i'm so sorry i'm bad in colors if you see any green text okay so that is a comment guys that won't be executed okay if you see any green text that is a comment that won't be executed if you want to make a comment of a single line you can keep iphone iphone before the line it will just comment the whole that particular line only iphone iphone you can give manually also iphone iphone if the if the text is in green color that is a comment comment won't be executed guys now i want to comment the whole multiple lines what you can do guys okay control z what i can do let me uh, remove the comments okay i'll remove the comments okay again just keep adding guys it's not removing uh, let me check. Yeah. this is where we can remove it now from here to here i want to add this as a comment how can i do that multiple lines has star and at the end of the day at the end of the last line star hash i mean like not hash what is that like Ha, uh, flash, uh, slash, guys. slash, slash, forward slash. slash. Forward okay, slash. not hash. It's a forward slash. So in this way also you can comment multiple lines. If you comment a single line, 
just add hyphen hyphen if you comment all the lines select all the lines click on this button okay and this is going to remove the comment uncomment and if you want to comment multiple lines you can just simply give forward slash star star forward slash okay at the end of the line so now you can happily execute it no issues why because it will be it is a text right it will be skipped let me execute guys done now in which database the data the table is created guys sales. Sales. let me expand sales let me expand tables yes now you can see right sales before sales there is one word called dbo sir what is this word sir i didn't give this dbo why it comes that is called schema okay that is called schema sir i don't know all these things sir i don't want to write any tables don't write in the organization we don't create any tables this is only just for understanding purpose you should have some basic knowledge on writing the tables don't write no one will ask you to write the tables so you are nothing to worry what what column name i have to give what data type i have to give nothing to worry just try to understand the things that's it please mute it just try to understand the things that's it okay why because if developers write coding queries and all you should be able to understand okay this query will create a table like that at least you should be in a position to understand what they are uh, what they are asking us to execute okay so that's why we just discussed right now you can see the tables okay sir uh, i don't want a query sir uh, you you just uh, before going to the classes uh, you said that it's completely gui can we create a table using gui yes we can create right click on the tables new table okay now it is asking for column name this time we'll create a student table okay student id data type guys you can click here and you can you can see lot of data types see here guys how many data types are there we just discussed only 10 10 or 12 data types see how many data types are there begin binary bit care date date time date time date time offset okay see decimal float geography geometry hierarchy id image you want to save image type of data select image integer money and care and where care and text numeric see how many data types are there so student id can be student id can be integer, integer or where integer, care? Sir. your, your all ticket numbers your all ticket numbers sometimes where care right right where yes, care sir. means yes, numbers sir. and characters all together you can call it as a where care so let's go with integer okay you can simply type int you will get int just type int second column student name where care of 100 okay you will get 50 by default you can make it as 100 student number okay again of course it can be integer okay so this with these three columns i want to create a table so you can include the table you can include the columns so i can just close it guys it will ask you to give the table name just close the window guys if while closing the window you will get one pop-up do you want me to save this query yes or no okay you can press yes and no, i'm sorry no if you want that query you can press yes if you don't want that query you can press no guys you can select no okay let me close it now it will ask hey you are doing okay you are closing this query window that's fine what would be the table name okay oh it was closed okay let me refresh tables okay it was not created it will ask you the table name guys let me do it again table and student id integer and next column is student name where care of 100 okay next is phone number integer okay so just click on save button it will ask you the table name the table name will be student click ok usually sometimes if you close automatically it will ask you uh, if you don't want this guys close it as it was already saved you can close it if you don't want this one you can use this query window okay 
this is one query window this is one query window like that you will get multiple query windows guys every time you are opening the session every time you will get one query window all the queries belongs to this session is different all the queries belongs to this session is different all the queries belongs to this session is different so you can execute multiple queries on multiple databases at a time but parallelly you cannot execute in a single window already you are executing insert statement here it is running until it is completed you cannot execute one more thing one more query if it is completed you can execute multiple queries again but if it is still running you can see whether it is completed or running or anything you can see here if it is completed you can see like this query executed successfully if it is running you can see processing here there is a circle like while watching the movies youtube videos you can see browse 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 one circle will rotate right that kind of circle will rotate here you can see executing if it is executing you cannot write again one more query in the same window okay you can open new window on the same database you can execute another day another query parallelly on the same database you can open multiple windows no issues multiple sessions we can call this as a session session or process anything you can call it as one session one window one process anything you can call it as are we good guys can we modify the tables ah, of course of course happily happily we can modify the tables at any time we can modify the tables table name we can modify table columns we can modify data types we can modify records we can modify anything you can do anything right now let's go now i want to read the data guys i want to read the data so what is the query to read the data inside a table select query select means it is going to read it select star from table name what is the table name table guys? name, table name what is the table name sales okay sales. So the table name is sales. So let me go to this session. Okay, done. Okay, so here, okay, done. Let me this window and let me, okay, done. So select star from sales. Now, can I execute this one? No, sir. Why? Uh, defaultly selected in uh, Flipkart already. Okay. So my table is created in which database? My table is created in which database? Sales database. But you are searching in Flipkart database. Flipkart. Okay. Like as discussed earlier, okay. You are you just kept your keys in hall and you are searching in bedroom. Okay. So like this. Select star from sales. What it is throwing, guys? Error invalid object name invalid subject name that means what means there is subject no name object also. not subjects yes. are objects are okay so um, it is saying there is no such object invalid object name means there is no such object in two ways you will get this error okay what one is if the object is not found you will get invalid object name if you gave wrong object name also let me select let me select the sales database now okay but the object name is like this if you execute now now also you'll get the same error why because actual table name is sales but you are just gave one s is missing you gave only sales okay so it will throw you the error invalid object name means in two scenarios you will get it one is if the table name is wrong second one is if you are searching table in a different database where there is the database where the table is not existed in the particular database okay guys in these two cases you will get the error guys now execute now now you can see okay bill number product id cost this is how you can see guys this is an empty table nothing is there bill number is one column product name is one column cost is one column nothing is there this is an empty table. Now you want to insert the records, right? How to insert the yes, record, sir. guys? Insert, insert into, into table name. Very good. Table insert. Name. I want to use insert query into table name. Which table sales. I want to insert in sales table? Sales. What you want to insert? Values. I want to insert values. Values. Okay, very values. Good. values. So you have to give all the three values here, guys. Bill number you have to give, product name you have to give, cost you have to give. Bill number is one two one comma any any random number you can give 
product name atta okay uh, guys listen carefully when you are giving character type of data keep it in strings okay small uh, single quote is there right single quote beside enter yes, button yes. single quote is there so open single quotes atta okay close the single quotes whenever you are giving character type of data you have to give like this only okay now cost atta cost 10 kg is around 350 rupees okay done this is one record you have to close it guys once you open the braces you have to close the braces otherwise it won't work okay this is one record let me copy this control c i'll insert four or five records i just copied for five times now the product id is 122 this time dal okay so two kgs dal how much guys that is around 400 okay next 123rd record this time i'll go with the oil okay let's go with the oil means around 800 rupees is there right uh, we'll go with the 10 kg tin sir okay uh, not 10 kg 5 kg 800 rupees okay next record is 124th record okay uh, this time we'll go with the fruits okay let's go with fruits uh, what you are saying rice huh? okay let's let's go with rice okay so around 10 kgs uh, not 10 kgs 25 kgs bag around uh, 1500 okay let's go like this okay and uh, next record is 125th record this time we'll go with the uh, snacks okay or let me go with biscuits please 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 mute it please mute it okay let's go with the 200 rupees done guys like that how many records you want you can insert that many records your wish okay so now i can execute all the inserts at a time by selecting simply click on execute button that's it how many inserts you are executing for each row you will get one row affected one row affected one row affected five records means you will get five rows affected output guys yes sir now you want to read again i want to see the records again now execute this query now you can see all the five records in the table clear guys how to insert the records in a table in the ga also you can yes, do sir. that just refresh it okay we have one more table right student table let me go to sales table right click edit top 200 rows already five records are there right now next 126th record uh, this time i'll go with uh, maggie okay 60 rupees next 127th record dates okay 200 rupees 128th record Musli, 500 rupees okay so now you want to close it it won't ask save or not just close it you can close it now you can just check the record three more records are added right you can see three three more records total eight records okay so this is how if you want to go with gui you can go with GUI. but imagine one lakh records are inserting it's very difficult uh, using gui okay and you can ask sir um, developers are going to insert these values or we are going to insert these values from where we'll get the values guys developers. not developers not dba application. application application you are buying one product in the amazon you will select the product you will select the delivery location you will select the quantity okay you will select the what have preferred the date of uh, delivery and all okay so when you click submit it will ask you for payment you will give the credit card and you will give the otp and every information whatever you are giving everything will be stored in one table means not developer not db of course developers yes, also sometimes they will insert the data i am not saying they don't insert they will also insert but sometimes but usually data into the tables will be loaded through application guys now you got the point how we are going to get these records now if you go to the more store you will get an idea they will simply scan it one entry will be done of course you can see on their screen a table item number item name product cost any discount is there you can see the table on their screen while scanning the products that is application the people the the pos we can call it as a point of sale okay 
people are going to scan your product uh, for that they are going to open one application that is called application guys if you see reliance or more or dmart they will simply scan and they can see on the screen that is the interface okay through the interface the data is inserting into the database guys now if you simply scan the barcode the data is inserted agreed agreed guys a simple scanning is going to insert your data what you are purchasing at what date you are purchasing how much quantity you are purchasing everything will be tracked worst case is worst case yesterday i got the call from apollo i have a baby okay so i used to buy serlac for her they called me sir uh, you bought uh, serlac packets last month so i guess it will be completed can you buy again see the worst part guys in the us uk countries they cannot misuse the data like that if you go to 30 um, uh, or else if you go to 30 locations in each location they are asking the okay uh, phone numbers tomorrow will come definitely if you go to the barber shop after one month that barber will call you sir i guess uh, last month you came to our shop might be your hair will be grown now please come to the shop sir this is how they are misusing the data as a dba you should know the importance of your data guys that's why i'll ask you don't share and scold them next time they won't ask okay so this is how they are misusing the data and there are some information acts are there the union government is imposing but still they don't know they don't aware of it so simply they are going to misuse our data how much you are eating what you are eating whether it is there five kgs dal you took last month they will call you sir your dal is completed sir are you going to do the shopping we'll give you the offers that kind of data they are tracking what you are eating also they are tracking how many members are there in your okay two kgs uh, uh, dal you took for uh, one month so um, it, it just came for one month and they can easily identify how many people are there two kgs in one month means you can guess it they are tracking what you are eating guys how many of there in your family okay so don't give your data to anyone guys again i'm saying let's reconnect okay let's reconnect 